Hello folks, Doc Sigma here with part four of Let's Play Soleil for the Sega Mega Drive, aka Genesis. Last time we had gained the ability to talk to animals and we were joined by my faithful companion. What the hell is his name? Max? No, not Max. Is it Mac? No, I don't think it's Mac either. It's Johnny. Yeah, it's Johnny, isn't it? Yep, they call him Johnny in this version of the game. So now that we've got an animal with us, what the heck can we do? Well, we could maybe see if he would translate speech for us from the humans, but that's just completely silly, and by the way, it's not going to work anyway. We could go to church, but the people in there won't talk to us either. So what can we do? Well, let's go to the map. Let's go to the plaza. Maybe that fortune teller will be back now that we have an animal with us. Because it seems kind of like she wants to teach us a lesson or something. It seems, it seems really creepy. I know. Where is she? She's right on hill, isn't she? She gone? Curse me with this gift. There must be some reason. Maybe it's because you want to show me how humans and animals aren't all that different, and humans and monsters and all, all, all that silly bleeding part on your sleeve, silly left wing, right wing. I don't even know what wing it is. Nonsense. I still can't go there. Over here, we can't do anything until we learn how to jump. So, back to Dahlia Valley! Now that we have a dog with us, what can we do that we couldn't do before? Well, the answer to that is nothing, really. And there's a certain NPC we have to talk to where if we had talked to him without the dog, nothing would have happened. And if we had talked to him before we had the ability to talk to animals, Again, nothing would have happened because this NPC is an animal. Let me show off his power. Why not? It's a pretty useless one, but... See, first of all, he's always going to be behind you. With other animal companions, if you push the C button to use their power, they'll go flying in front of you. But actually, most animal companions don't have a power that you have to activate that way. Most of them have, have will do something to your sword, like you'll find certain animals which will give your sword like an elemental enchantment, you'll find someone who lets you swing your sword faster, and yeah, you'll find someone who lets you run faster, which will be the key to doing that accelerated jump that they mentioned back at Refulsia. If, see, if you have the ability to jump, and you have the ability to run, then you can do a running jump! Ain't that swell. Yeah, you're right, it ain't that swell. <laughs> birds. Yes, yes, yes! One part where I do like to use Johnny, those friggin' birds. Come here, yep, get stuck, get stuck. Oh, miss. Oh, get stuck, yes! <laughs> get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck. Oh, no, no, no. Look at these retarded turtles. Once they run into a wall, they just keep running in place. I like turtles, so I feel slightly guilty about killing one of these guys, but they kill me first. See? The monsters later are just going to keep asking the question like, Why do you humans attack us? And well, I'll tell you why we attack you. Because you started it. Okay, maybe my forefathers or five fathers or six fathers or whatever started it many generations ago, but it's not my fault. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Stranger things have happened. Is that it? See, that's one thing that's different about this than other RPGs. Is sometimes if you talk to somebody more than once, they won't say the same thing each time. Oh, 
I'll go to hell. Yeah, thanks, Johnny. You, you, you stick up for me. We'll have peanut butter time later. Oh, frickin' hair. Jerk. It is only the language that separates us. Oh. And that intellectual little dog. I mean, he doesn't even look intellectual. He looks, looks kind of like a retarded dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the? How'd I end up over here? What do I, I don't, but I, whoa, I can jump now. Yes. It was all a courage thing. And now, that means we can skip over Dahlia Valley on the map from now on. Since we've completed it. We went in one way, came out the other. What am I going to do? I'm going back to Refocia. Why? Because with the ability to jump, we can take on the intermediate obstacle course. Yay. God, I love the house to bosses. Well, I've got about four minutes. I don't know if that's going to be enough time. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. I mean, the intermediate plus... It's not just harder, it's also longer. I bet I haven't done this one at all. Oh, yeah, buttons. Now we can jump. We can jump on buttons. You're jumping on buttons, I mean, first of all, it's like there are obstacles in your way and stuff. But second of all, jumping on buttons will usually do something. Just kind of like hitting those red switches. For example, let's hit this button. We really opened up a path over here, which we wouldn't have been able to get to before. Yeah, we would have been stuck really early in this course. If we didn't have the ability to jump, we wouldn't have been able to get anywhere. Some more jumping here. You want to jump on the one that's going to make those blocks go away. The other ones will either do nothing or reveal some spikes. Like that, you. You know, looks like. Oh no, that is a rock you can break. I don't know why I thought it wasn't. Never mind. Some things you can jump over and some things you can't. It's not always obvious. Like certain enemy, enemies you can jump over and certain things you can't. And those spinning fires, I'm pretty sure you can't jump over. We want to hit this button. Whee! Uh oh. I'm actually running a little questionable on health here. Can make this jump? Oh, yes, just barely. What about this one? Oh, oh yeah. What about this one? Yes, just... That is the absolute limit of his jumping ability until you gain the ability to run fast. Now, you see, the ability to jump, I guess you could say the hare gave it to us, but you don't have to have an animal companion on you to use the ability. Whereas, for the ability to run, that's going to come from an animal companion, so he's going to have to be one of the two members of my active party to be able to run. Well, I'm getting way the hell ahead of myself. And now that we can jump, those bees are extra deadly. Because they can sometimes they can knock you off of platforms. If it's the kind of platform you can jump off of anyway, then they can knock you off of it. Otherwise, they can't. So, oh yeah. If you jump on a log down there for absolutely no reason. Wait a minute. This is a reason, that's how you go on. I don't know what the hell I was thinking of. If you fall, if, if you fall in the dark blue water, then that's the same as like falling off an edge. You can't see yourself here, it's kind of... Yeah, it's the same as falling off an edge. And so you lose one time. Are we done? No, we're not done. There's more to this obstacle course. It takes up two whole map screens. Golden apple is the, is there a golden apple down there. We can't get that right now. There's a lot of golden apples that we can't get. 
right now because we need certain animal companions or other abilities to get them. And in all honesty, I may come back for them, I may not. I mean, they increase your, they increase your life stock by one, yeah, which, is, which is awesome, don't get me wrong. But, I don't know, it's like I just don't care. I'm not a big fan of backtracking. Stupid bees! Well, I hate to stop in the middle of the video, but I'm actually going to be continuing this almost immediately. I'll be posting the next part of this pretty soon. So yeah, this is Dark Sigma signing off. See you in just a minute.